Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to create responsive Power Apps Gallery designs. Okay, so I have four different designs. Okay, we will see them one by one, and also create the gallery design similar like that. Okay, so let's I go to the first one. Okay, so first one is this one. Okay, let's I play this. So this is a by default gallery design. Okay, you can select the any template of gallery. Okay, it is came with the responsive design. Okay, if you see in the tablet, okay, it is taking the width. Okay, if you see in the mobile as well, so it is taking properly alignment and the width. Okay, let's I change the orientation of this. Okay, so it's work fine. Okay, so to use this layout, okay, you can simply. <clears throat> insert one gallery control okay on a screen like this okay and change the layout okay and simply the values that you have to use you can be use this okay like this item dot heading by default here it is came but if you have different data source you can be add it here okay and it is by default it is responsive okay if you see the width okay so it is you can be see parent dot template with minus some specific values okay so this is one of the design okay this is basic one okay then we have the second one okay so second one is this one okay so if you see in the mobile it is displaying in the single value okay if i change to the tablet it is showing the two values if i change the orientation of this so it is showing me the three values okay if i select the canvas so it is displaying fours and the windows as well it is displaying the four okay to create this type of design okay what you have to do you have to use the gallery control okay in the gallery control first thing what you have to do just go and increase the padding okay here i make the 25 okay so this space will display okay if i make it 30 okay so this will increase and look better okay and then we have the wrap count property basically what wrap count is doing okay so it will wrap okay row into and that columns okay so i just given here four okay so in that gallery control four columns are displaying here okay so and this size property will give us the screen breakout here okay so if we are using the mobile layout okay so in that case we have the size okay one okay so it is wrap count hour becoming one okay so this design we will get okay similar for the uh, our tablet okay so now the screen size is become two so that's why we are getting two columns okay and this beautiful design we will get okay and if we change the orientation so in this it is size we are getting three okay so our wrap count is becoming three so this is one more good design okay you can be used in your power apps okay card like structure you can be created it looks very pretty if you design it properly okay so then we have the third one in the third one okay um if you see i use here one container here okay container one okay so and the sorry main container okay and in this we have the headings okay in the container one and in gallery we have the our simple column like format okay so but what happening okay if you see in the tablet description title image it displaying properly okay but if i want to use this in the mobile okay you can be see the image is not properly displaying okay so we added here scroll bar here okay you can be see so this scroll bar you can be add okay so it will work with the mobile as well okay let's say change the orientation okay now you can be see this scroll bar you can be used to see the values okay to see the image okay so this scroll by default you will get okay so you can be use the container to display this okay so how you can be achieve this scenario let's i showcase you let's add one screen okay let's i use the blank one okay 
let's use your vertical container so in this what you have to do let's i make it like this okay let's add one horizontal one okay and in container 6 let's add one more gallery control okay let's add vertical gallery here okay hmm. so now we added the vertical gallery okay and container 7 let's i make it flexible i turn off and it is should be 50 okay and let's i change the color okay making it yellow so same design okay now what i will do i will select container 7 and gallery 1 okay and gives the width okay i will use custom width here okay and width property i will set parent dot width into 2 okay so now you can be see my gallery is going outside the container okay in container 6 and i will just turn on horizontal overflow scroll so it is overflowing okay means going beyond the container so that's why it is showcasing us the scroll bar okay so we are turn on the scroll bar okay and if we play this okay so you can be see we have this scroll bar let's i use your tablet so it will display properly and you can be use this to showcase the value okay so in this way you can be check okay you can be create this type of design okay canvas so you can be see this is the last part okay and let's say so in this way you can be create that type of designs okay this is one of one also very popular and most of the organizations use this as well okay so three is done now okay let's assume one more scenario here okay so like uh, you have to statically like if you scroll okay so my description is hiding okay but i want like uh, let's assume my image should be at the starting okay only title and description should move so we can also do this okay so for that purpose we need to add build some custom functionality so in this four design we are builded that okay so if you see my let's i first make it zero okay so image section is at the start okay it is not moving okay only description title okay and other thing is moving you can be see now description move title is move okay and one dummy field i have added so only that values are moving okay so to build this what i have done here i use here slicer control okay and just given the values okay 500 okay and minimum value to zero okay minimum value is always zero and max value you can be arranged according to the slicer okay so to create this type of design okay so you have to use the plain container here okay so in the plain container just add um, the label okay that you have to keep the static one okay here i added the text label here you can be see and in container 2 okay added the other things okay and just go to the container 2 okay setting the x property here okay if you see so x property i simply giving slicer value okay minus slicer value dot this one okay so it will start with this okay if value is zero as the slicer value is increasing okay so x is becoming negative okay so it will move in this side okay and we will we can be able to see title dummy data and other things simply we are setting this at the top okay text input canvas 3 so it will hide okay description other things and color we are giving the solid bold color okay white so don't give the transparent color it will not work properly then <clears throat> similar thing we have done for gallery okay for the image control we use the static width okay and for then we have the one container in that we change the x property here simply so in this way we can be create the uh, four designs okay this is very useful and most of the orange use 
if you have any doubt any question okay you can be visit the blog as well okay on the savinj.com okay so this is official website of mine so here you can be see the all the designs okay how to create okay what are the formulas you have to use okay so everything we have mentioned here you can watch this you can read this and see the values okay uh, that's all friends keep learning keep growing and keep exploring have a nice day to all thank you bye